Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Last time I talked about how to calm skin fast after a long day out in the sun. Today, I'm gonna share how to care for your hair and scalp plus your body skin for sun exposed skin. So let's get started. Let's start with hair care. You wanna make sure you use lukewarm water because your scalp is most likely very heated and irritated from the sun. So make sure to gently wet your scalp and hair with lukewarm water. It can definitely be more on the colder side if you want to cool your scalp faster. I'm going to be using Dr. Groot's Microbiome Sensitive 20 Scalp Calming Ample Shampoo. Woo! That was a tongue twister and that was a very long name, but definitely this shampoo is worth it. Most likely, since your scalp is irritated from the sun, it's important to use and also choose a product that will not be too harsh on your scalp and your hair, and that has ingredients to calm scalp at the same time. The shampoo not only has gentle formula, but has ingredients to help with dandruff and also hair loss prevention as well. Also, you want to make sure not to rub your scalp too roughly as you would probably normally do on your super busy mornings when you have to go and you have to finish your shampoo fast. Make sure to take your time to massage gently and rinse off thoroughly with water. The next step is highly recommended if your scalp feels a little bit tingly or itchy or it feels like it's stinging a bit from the sun exposure. I'm using iUnique Centella Calming Gel. This is something that always makes its way back into my summer skincare routine. It has a light, fresh gel texture that is amazing to use on heated skin. If you pop it in the fridge for a little bit, it will just triple the calming effect and it will make sure that it calms your scalp or skin faster. You can use any type of gel that you have at home or your favorite aloe gel. Uh, make sure that you apply it on your scalp and make sure that you massage it in gently. Let's make sure that that soaks into your scalp for a little bit. And while we're waiting, let's take care of our hair. I'm using Adore Hair Fill Up for the hair. This is a highly concentrated protein ample treatment, which is amazing to make your hair healthier and thicker, especially that has been damaged due to sun, bleaching, perming your hair, or coloring your hair. Directions do tell you to mix the clear substance with one-to-one -one ratio with cold water and then it will start turning into this kind of milky creamy formula and you can also feel a hint of warmth and this is totally natural. This is going to help the treatment to soak better into your hair and faster into your hair. And a tip that I got from my hairstylist is to massage in the treatment for at least 30 to 60 seconds rather than just applying it and then tying it up and leaving it on for about five minutes. Massaging the treatment into the hair makes a huge, huge difference of making sure that the protein and goodness of the product soak in really well into your skin. Afterwards, I do recommend rinsing the hair off with cold water, which will help to close your cuticles. An increase in temperature may separate the cells forming your cuticle. And when your hair is rinsed with warm water, the cuticle layer does not seal well. So make sure that you rinse with cold water. This is a really good tip. Then I'm gonna tie my hair up, of course, and get it out of the way for my body care routine. For body wash, I'm gonna be using Skin and Lab High Barrier Hyaluronic Capsule Cleanser. This is actually a face cleanser, but the size is so big and I love how calming and hydrating it is. So for after sun care, body care, this is just the perfect go-to body wash as well. It will remove all the sunscreen off really well while not stripping our skin of its natural moisture barrier. Barrier. My skin doesn't feel tight nor dry afterwards and especially for sun exposed skin I want to highly recommend using just your hands because using any type of body scrub towels or you know like shower balls or any type of like devices may inflame the skin causing redness, itchiness, or even a rash. So please do keep that in mind. After rinsing everything off, I'm gonna gently dab the water off my body instead of rubbing the towel aggressively onto the skin to prevent irritation. I'm using iUnique Centella Calming Gel for the body also, but you can use any type of aloe gel or cooling gels that you have at home. Usually after a long day out in the sun, our skin is super heated and red. I love adding a gel type of product to calm your skin and to speed things up adding a cooler to massage everything down will help to restore the skin faster. And afterwards, you can actually apply your favorite body cream to finish off the routine. But for me, this just feels enough after a long day out in the sun. All right, guys. So hope that my tips were helpful on how to repair sun-exposed scalp, hair, and body skin fast at home. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!